thank you. But it's going to be a no. Pardon? Sorry, it's just not what we had in mind. Dirty joke. When you hear a dirty joke, you say, well, "Who invent? Who thought of that terrific dirty joke?" Well, we've got some people out in the field, and they found the lady who's been writing all those dirty jokes all these years. <laughs> that person lives in Toronto, Canada, and you're going to meet her right now, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Twyla Baumracker. How thrilled I am to finally be discovered. I'd really like to thank the nice people at Showtime for putting me on TV and recognizing me for all my years of hard work. Also... Can, they, can, can we get on with it, please? Oh, bite my ass. <laughs> when I first started writing my little stories, I just did it for family. I still remember the first one I wrote. I, it was for my little brother on his ninth birthday, and it went like this. A guy walks into a fish market, and he says, How much are crabs today? The clerk says, 74 cents apiece. Well, well, says the guy. Shake hands with a millionaire. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. What do sea monsters eat? Fish and ships. <laughs> now, I'm sorry, I want to hear you say it. I want to hear you say, I am the patient. What was that? I am the patient. Good, good, that's a breakthrough. Now that you can say that, now that you can admit it, we can proceed. Excellent. You are the patient. I am, you are, perhaps we're all patients. No, I am not a patient. Now, now, please remain calm, Mr. Windrush. Dr. Windrush. Now, you, you realise that I only have to lift this phone, you will be restrained. Yes, hello. Uh, yes, it's yeah, all no, right, Rebecca, I'm in a session. Just a patient, don't worry about it. There's nothing to worry about. 